Hello viewers, welcome to today's class. The topic of discussion today is United Nations and the subject is history, form four. We get to look at the organs of the UN and your teacher today is Rojab Mishira. So in the previous class, we looked at, we introduced one organ of the United Nations and we said one of the organs we have is the General Assembly. And we looked at how the General Assembly is, uh, is, is formed and we did say that it comprises of all the, the, the representatives from all the member states. And now today we'll get to organs, we will get to the Security Council of the UN and the, uh, and, and the channel you're watching is the Limu TV. Let us all watch and learn. So class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We expect that we are able to state the functions of the Security Council as an organ of the United Nations. Now we have got a number of um, a number of functions of the Security Council. Now let us get to the topic of the of discussion, where we get to look at the United uh, United Nations Security Council and what is this UN Security Council, right? So we get to know that this is the most powerful organ of the United Nations, right? Apart from uh, the General Assembly, this is one of another most powerful organ of the United Nations. Now, let us get to look at how many members does it comprise of, right? Do we have permanent members? Do we have non-permanent members? We get to learn about that. Now, we get to realize that the UN has got 15 members, right? So in these 15 members, we have got five members who are the permanent and the 10 permanent non uh, sorry, non-permanent members. So in that case, we have got 15 members, five permanent and also 10 non-permanent members. Now, another thing we get to realize about the United Nations Security Council is that each member of the council has one vote, right? So if you are from Kenya, when you go to vote, you vote as one vote, right? If you are from Britain, when you're going to vote, you vote as one vote, right? Regardless of the number of people will be there each and every member has got one vote. And also, we get to realize that um, each member of the council has one vote and also the five permanent members have the right of veto. Good. There is this, we call the veto power, right? What is this veto power? Veto power, it simply means, is that power if one of the five if one of the members from the five permanent members does not agree to a certain, to a certain, to, to a certain um, ideology, right, or to a certain decision, if one votes no, or if one does not agree to the decision, that decision cannot be made, right? The five permanent members must agree, or rather may, uh, must agree as a yes, or must agree as a no. But if one agrees, or rather if one goes contrary, right, to the decisions of the others, then a decision cannot be made. That is what we mean by the veto power. And the veto power, only it is only the five permanent members who had the veto power. Now, can you get to look at the permanent members? Who are they? One, we have the United States of America is a permanent member. We also have Russia as a permanent member. We also have the United Kingdom as a permanent member. We also have got France as a permanent member. And finally, we have china as a permanent member now as you can see we have got five permanent members and you have stated them all from united states of america russia united kingdom france and also china now class can you get to look at what is the work of the security council right now we get to realize that it maintains international peace and security from its from from, from its title the United Nations Security Council. So it is the one that maintains international peace and security. And also it investigates any dispute or any situation that might lead to international friction of co or, or cause dispute. So it gets to investigate, so it's, it, is an, it is an investigative agent, right? So it gets to investigate any of the issues that can create international friction or dispute. And also, it calls upon the member states to settle their disputes peacefully, right? We have got through, we have got peaceful means of uh, conflict resolution. For example, we have negotiation, right? We have mediation, we have conciliation and arbitration, right? For example, the United Nations, when we had uh, crashes in, the, in Kenya here, 
the post election crashes that is 2007-2008 the UN send its um, secretary general the late the late Kofi Annan right as a mediator you, you look at that now the UN is the one that calls member states at least to solve disputes using the peaceful means of uh, of conflict resolution and we have stated a few for example mediation conciliation arbitration and also negotiation and also it is the united nations security council that recommends to states appropriate procedures to be followed in settling disputes right for example i've given you a good example in kenya right they recommend that let us use mediation that is where they said a mediator the late kofi annan he was from ghana and also, the UN Security Council determines whether any situation threatens peace and takes the necessary measures to maintain peace, right? So it gets to look at, does this uh, uh, situation cause conflict, right? Is it a threat to international peace and security? So it gets to determine and deliberate on that also. And also, as we said, the United Nations Security Council is one of the powerful organs of the UN. Now, what happens when it is a powerful organ of the UN? So it admits, suspends, and expels members from the United Nations. Get that? So it admits, suspends, and also expels members from the United Nations. And lastly, class, it calls upon all members to provide military action against aggressors. And one thing you must note about is that the UN does not have a military army. Or it does not have its own army. So it sort of depends on the well wishes of these member states. Now it's the one that calls upon the member states to provide military action to the aggressors. Now finally, class, I have an assignment for you. Can we get to, to name the five permanent members of the Security Council? And for our research, get to Evolving World and History, Form 4, Oxford University Press, the seventh edition. As always, class, this is your favorite channel, Elimu TV where we get to always watch and learn. Keep in touch with us via our SMS line, our YouTube page, our Facebook page, and also you can send your feedback through Twitter at Elimu TV Kenya. Let us keep Elimu TV where you get to watch and learn.